Hi, my name is Mark Umbricht. I'm Chief Executive Officer and Chief Technical Officer of Pierre CESA. With respect to the UR1 race plane, I am Project Manager and Lead Vehicle Designer. I have a vision for an electric general aviation aircraft that is going to have a big impact on the market. In order to develop that aircraft, we need to develop intermediate aircraft that only attack one of those problems at a time, one or two of those problems at a time. If you do that in a competitive environment, for instance a race, then every component that you develop is going to be at its peak performance or as close to it as you can manage. We want to put race uh, capable components in a general aviation aircraft. One of the critical components uh, in our aircraft, the UR-1, is uh, the in-wing battery system. Uh, in-wing meaning we literally store the batteries inside the wings. So uh, we had to develop a, a very complicated packing arrangement inside the wing in order to fit the entire battery system and its fire protection systems that was the major design hurdle for this aircraft and we think we did a pretty good job at it. An aircraft is a complex system uh, which means that every part has to perform as designed and you cannot allow design mistakes to reach the final product. Um, on the other hand, everybody makes mistakes. So every part in the aircraft has to be checked once uh, the primary designer has finished working on it by at least one other person. Um, and then if it undergoes uh, significant stress, uh, it has to be analyzed by a stressor, a so-called stressor, a stress analyst. Uh, and then the part has to be signed off by the project manager who verifies that um, the procedure has been followed and double checks that everything is working or rather triple checks that the system works as, in, as it's supposed to. This is essentially uh, the minimum you can do in order to make a safe aircraft. Every aspect of a plane is critical to its function, uh, which means that you cannot prioritize the design of one over the other. They're all important. What you can do is decide which one you want to do first. Uh, and the uh, procedure we went with was to design the wing first, then the tail, and then build the fuselage inwards uh, from those three points, the third one being the motor mount. There are a couple different ways that you can design a parts numbering system. Uh, the simplest is probably just chronological. Monday you come up with a part, it's part number one. Tuesday you come up with a different part, it's part number two. Um, that system is useful in that it works and it's really hard to screw up. Um, the problem is that there's not a lot of useful information in the part number. So what we did was we tried to encode as much reasonable metadata into the part number as possible so that when you saw a part number you had a reasonable chance of being able to just look at the number and figure out where it went on the plane. This was inspired by a few uh, procedures from other companies uh, but it was essentially designed by me. Um, to my knowledge there's no standard way to uh, number parts uh, in aviation.